reverend fathers religious and my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in today's gospel jesus is saying do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters jesus is saying we need treasures we need treasures but not treasures on earth but treasures in heaven you should have real treasure in your life treasure on earth will be destroyed treasure on earth will be consumed by moth and rust the thieves will steal it but if you store up treasures in heaven the moth and rust will not consume it thieves will not steal it so where do we need to store up our treasure treasure in heaven treasure in heaven but my dear brothers and sisters we are always anxious to store up treasures on earth that is human nature the nature of every person but the treasure that we keep on earth is not the real treasure you might have heard about a phenomenon called mirage that is a phenomenon that happens in the deserted places if you travel in the desert you will experience this phenomenon when you travel in the desert you will be very thirsty you will feel like drinking water because it is a hot place you want to drink water then when you look ahead you will find water there you go there you want to drink water when you go nearer you realize that there is no water that is mirage that is an illusion an illusion then again you find the mirage ahead of you you go there but there is no water this is an illusion created by nature the treasure on earth is like this it is not the real treasure that's why we read in ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2 ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2 vanity of vanities 
says the preacher vanity of vanities all is vanity all is vanity all that you find on the earth is vanity but you are after that you want to get that it does not give you real happiness in your life that's why jesus is telling for where your treasure is there your heart will also be let us think where do we store up our treasure is it on earth then our heart will be focused on the treasure on the earth is it the treasure in heaven then our heart will be focused on the treasure in heaven let us say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah we have heard about st augustine st augustine is a great saint but in his younger age he was not a saint he was a sinner he was after earthly treasures he was after worldly pleasures he was enjoying all kinds of the pleasures offered by the world but every day he realizes realizes one thing this does not give me real happiness the worldly pleasure does not give me real happiness i want real happiness in my life but every day he was going after worldly pleasures he was committing sin of fornication he was after women to get sexual pleasure today he goes to one woman and tomorrow he does not find happiness with that woman he was very much distressed and his mother monica she was praying for him praying for her, her son agustin and one day agustin was converted he realized where the real treasure is where the real happiness is he encountered jesus he realized that the world, the pleasure that the world is giving is not the real pleasure it does not give the real happiness and joy and he, he realized that only god can give real happiness and when he realized it he was saying late have i loved you late have i loved you o oh beauty ever ancient ever new late have i loved you you were within me but i was outside and it was there i searched you i found you very late o oh beauty that is god ever ancient and ever new god is the beauty ever ancient and ever new and he realized that only god the beauty ever ancient and ever new can give real happiness in his life 
is saying you were within me oh god you were within me but i was searching you outside that's why i did not find out the real joy in my life but today when i encounter you i realize the real happiness in my life that's why jesus is saying you store up treasures in heaven do not store up treasures on earth let us say together hallelujah 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 psalm 43 verse 4 psalm 43 verse 4 then i will go to the altar of the lord to god my exceeding joy and i will praise you with the harp o oh god my god the psalmist is saying i will go to the altar of the lord to god my exceeding joy let us say together i will go to the altar of the lord to god my exceeding joy and i will praise you with the harp oh god my god so god is the exceeding joy god is the exceeding joy that was the experience of psalmist and he was saying i will go to the altar of the lord i want to enjoy the real happiness i want to experience the real joy i will go to the altar of the lord my dear brothers and sisters why do you come to this place tika why do you gather around this altar of the lord because you realize that god is the exceeding joy when we do not realize that then we go after worldly things and the worldly things do not give us real joy real happiness you might have heard about a king called alexander the great he lived before christ bc from 3323 to 356 was his uh, life span a great king that's why he is called alexander the great he conquered many places he defeated many kings he was a great king he became a great king one day after defeating a king he was coming back to his kingdom and he fell ill he was sick and all the doctors of the royal palace came but they could not save his life and alexander the great the king he realized that he was going to die he was going to die then when he realized it he called his dear ones together and he told you have to do three things when i die you have to do three things when i die these are the three things he told them my physicians the doctors alone must carry my coffin when i die i will be kept in a coffin and i will be taken to graveyard then 
only the physicians who nursed me they must carry my coffin then the second thing when my body is carried to the grave all my wealth and money shall be scattered on the way to the graveyard that was the second desire and the third desire was this my both hands be kept hanging out of my coffin both my hands shall be kept outside open and it must be hanging on the outside the coffin these were the three desires and he told them you know why i am asking my physicians to carry my coffin because they are the physicians of the royal palace they are specialists they are very experienced persons but these physicians they are not able to heal me they are not able to heal me so the people must realize that the physicians were not able to save my life the physicians were not able to save my life then why the wealth and um, precious things must be scattered on the way when he was taken to the graveyard because again the wealth is not able to save the great king alexander and why his hands must be hanged out of the coffin because the world must realize that the great king alexander is going empty handed the mighty king the powerful king after his death he is going empty handed my dear brothers and sisters he was a powerful person he had wealth he had everything but he was not able to sustain his life with his, with the wealth with the treasure of the world let us say together hallelujah 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 saint paul realized it and saint paul is saying second corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 second corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 now we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed we have a building from god an eternal house in heaven not built by human hands this was the realization of saint paul saint paul was saying now we know that if the earthly tent we live is destroyed we have a building in heaven what is the earthly tent that is the body human body our life if it is destroyed it was the realization of saint paul we have another tent we have another building in heaven it is not built by human hands it is built by god if you focus your heart on the treasure in heaven this building will be there if you love jesus this building will be there otherwise you will not have any building you will not have any house in heaven that's why jesus is saying john chapter 14 verse 2 john chapter 14 verse 2 there are many rooms in my father's house and i am going to prepare a place for you let us say together hallelujah 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 praise you jesus praise you jesus 
praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah jesus was consoling his uh, disciples he was saying i am about to leave the earth i am about to leave you then they were very sad then jesus said don't be worried i am going now and i will prepare rooms for you where i will prepare rooms for you in heaven then i will come back then i will take you and i will take you to the rooms prepared for you in heaven when it happens when you are the disciple of jesus when you are the disciple of jesus be assured that rooms are prepared for you by jesus when you love jesus he assures you that rooms are there in heaven when you focus your eyes on jesus jesus is there to take care of you he will lead you to the room prepared in heaven we find the story of zacchaeus luke chapter 19 luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10 we find the story of zacchaeus zacchaeus was a rich man and he was the chief tax collector he was making money he was enjoying all the pleasures of this world but he was not satisfied he realized that there is something i am lacking in my life i don't have the real joy in my life even though i have money i have wealth doesn't give real joy that's why he wanted to meet jesus many people have told about jesus zacchaeus had heard about jesus and he wanted to see jesus and he was going to see jesus finally he found jesus and jesus as welcomed zacchaeus and he told that i want to go to your house zacchaeus was so happy zacchaeus met jesus jesus went to his house and there happened the real change there happened the real change zacchaeus real realized one thing i was going after the worldly things my main focus was to make money but i was not happy in my life now i met jesus when i meet jesus i enjoy the real happiness i enjoy the real happiness then before jesus zacchaeus is saying i am giving half of my wealth to the poor i am giving half of my wealth to the poor if i have defrauded anyone of anything i am giving fourfold to him let us say together hallelujah 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 zacchaeus realized what is the real joy where is the real treasure when he met jesus his life was changed his focus was changed until then his focus was on money and he thought money will give happiness but it did not give happiness to him now when he meets jesus he understands that only only jesus can give happiness no money can give happiness 
no wealth can give happiness you need money you need wealth only for your sustenance otherwise if you focus too much on that it will not give you satisfaction it will not give you joy but focus on jesus focus your eyes on jesus he is the one who gives you happiness in your life let us say together hallelujah 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 mark chapter 10 verses 17 onwards we find a rich young man coming to jesus and asking good teacher what shall i do to inherit the eternal life jesus said you have to follow commandments he said i am following the commandments from my young age then jesus is saying let us listen to the words of jesus jesus said one thing you lack one thing you lack in your life go and sell all you possess and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me jesus said you lack one thing he had everything he was a rich man he had everything but jesus was saying you lack one thing what is that he was lacking you go and sell all you possess and give to the poor then you have you'll have treasure in heaven that's how we store up treasure in heaven my dear brothers and sisters that's how we store up treasure in heaven when you give a share of your wealth to the poor you store up things in heaven you store up treasure in heaven that's why again jesus is saying matthew chapter 25 verse 40 the time of the last judgment the words of jesus truly i tell you whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me when you do something to the least of your brethren you do it to me that's the words of jesus so my dear brothers and sisters how can we store up things in heaven by helping the poor by sharing your wealth for that you have to change your focus don't focus your heart on the treasures of earth but focus your heart on the treasures of heaven let us say once again the word of god in psalms psalms 43 4 let us say once again then i will go to the altar of the lord to god my exceeding joy and i will praise you with the harp oh god my god tum sifu yesu christ 